it's Miss Alana working on math, being smart, awesome, and amazing, just like you. We are working on this week's math tasks and standards. In this video, we are working on a geometry domain. And make sure you're work. Make sure you're watching the right video. If not, go find the video that you need. And this is our geometry domain right here. You can read it on our fancy triangular prism triangular prism or go ahead and read it off the task card or on the board with me our essential question is how can categorizing two-dimensional figures show shared attributes our learning target make sure you write that in your journal is i understand that all two-dimensional figures within a category shade share the same attributes our standard is mgse5 g3 Understand that attributes belonging to a category of two-dimensional figures also belong to all subcategories of that category. For example, all rectangles have four right angles and squares are rectangles, so all squares have four right angles. What? All right, I'll explain it to you later. If you didn't understand that, we have some vocabulary words. You can also write that in your journal and highlight them with a highlighter. Mine or yours, just make sure you return my stuff. We have attributes, category, two-dimensional figure, subcategory, rectangles, right angles, and squares. And our rigor, our challenge for this task is to understand attributes belong to categories and subcategories. Now, this video is on this task right here, so make sure that's what you're working on. I have the video for the, for the other side if that's the one that you're working on, so make sure you're watching the right video. Okay. All right. You ready? Do you have your pencil? Do you have your journal? Let's begin. It says, first, label each category based on the description provided. Then place the polygons that correctly fit those categories in the space below the description. A polygon can be put into both categories if it fits. Not all polygons will be used. Okay. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, so go ahead and you can make this chart. You don't have to write the directions. If you want to, you can, but we're going to make the chart. Now, before we continue on, I want to go over our clues for learning. Remember, you can look at them in your book, but we can go ahead and read them here. If you want to write them in your journal, great. You can study that every day until you know and become an expert about polygons especially quadrilaterals. Let's read a quadrilateral right here is a plain figure that has four sides and four angles. The next one is a parallelogram. A is a quadrilateral that has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four sides that have equal length. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. Next, a square is a rectangle with four sides that have the same length. The next one is a trapezoid, which is a quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel sides. And the last one is a kite, which is a quadrilateral with two different pairs of connected sides that have the same length. Okay? All these shapes, what do they have in common? They are all what? Quadrilaterals. And what is a quadrilateral? It is a shape with four sides. Four angles. Four sides, four angles is a quadrilateral. Now we have special kinds of quadrilaterals. We have parallelograms, rhombus. We don't say rhombuses, we say rhombi. Rhombi, rectangles, squares, trapezoids, and kites. Now there was a keyword, a vocabulary word there, which is a parallel, parallel lines. Parallel lines. Do you know what parallel lines are? Parallel lines are two lines that go in the same direction. So for example, these are parallel lines. They're going the same direction. They're going straight. Uh, these are parallel lines. Okay, even though that's going that way. They, look, it's uh, 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 parallel lines. Guess what? These are parallel lines too. That's parallel lines. All right, I do a dance. Parallel dance. Bam. Parallel lines. Parallel lines. Parallel lines. Do a dance. Do a dance. Do a dance. Now, if they cross, uh -uh. not parallel lines. Okay, those are called intersecting lines. And what else do we have? Uh, we have angles they talked about right angles not a left and right and not a right and wrong angles but right angles because they measure what 90 degrees that means that oh look 
90 degrees, it's like a perfect square at the corner. So for example, looking at our task card, look, 90 degrees, bam, 90 degrees right there, 90 degrees right there, 90 degrees, it's like it makes an L at the corner, L for Miss Alana, that's right. All right, any other keywords? I think that's it for now. Let's go ahead and work on the task. So the direction says to first label each category. So we have the category right here and a category right here. So let's read the description. Polygons with exactly four angles. Well, what would those be? Those would be what? Those would be quadrilaterals. So any polygon that has four angles would be a quadrilateral. Can I fit that in there? Spell it correctly because it's right there on the sheet. Quadrilateral. All right, so I guess I can like cross that out. I'm done with that. And the next category, polygons with exactly four angles and at least one pair of parallel sides. Well, what would that be? What? At least one pair of parallel sides? That would be what? That would be a trapezoid right here. But you know what? It, that, that doesn't even sound right. At least one pair. All right, trapezoid. It, it is only one pair, trapezoid. I think that's wrong. Maybe it has, and I'm going to cross that out, one pair of parallel lines. All right, so bam, right there. Now, what is a pentagon? Do you know what a pentagon is? A pentagon is a shape with five sides. Five sides. All right, and what is it? So that, that's not going to be in there. And what is a hexagon? A hexagon is a shape with six sides. Now, if you don't know, we have a chart in the room, or you have your book as a reference. Make sure you use your resources. All right, so. So, or I'm going to cross that out because we're not going to use those at all. All right, now, look right here. You know what? That is not even right. It's not even a category. Trapezoid, what? This doesn't make sense. Let me erase that. I don't know what, that, I don't even think that's right. I, you know what, I'm gonna erase that also because a trapezoid only has one pair. So I'm gonna mark that as a quadrilateral. All right, so excuse me about that. So let's write quadrilateral over here, too. That was confusing to me. So it's okay. Whenever you get confused about something, that's okay. Just use your mind and think about it and be like, ha, huh, that doesn't make sense, or ha, huh, that makes sense, or ah, ah, erase and start over. Now, so I know pentagons and hexagons, we're going to cross that out. Trapezoid. Does a trapezoid, is, a po does that, is that a polygon with exactly four angles? Yes. Uh... Okay, so we can write trapezoids here. Is a trapezoid a polygon with exactly four angles? Yes. And one pair of parallel sides? Yes, because that's exactly what it is right there. So we can write trapezoid here too. Oh, these directions were confusing me. Now look at that. What is that? That is a rectangle, but we can draw that. Does that have exactly four angles? Yes, so draw that there. Does it have exactly one pair, at least one pair of parallel lines, sides? Yes, so we can draw that there too. And what's the special name for that? Rectangle. All right, let's look at the next one. What is the special name for that? That is a rhombus. Does that have exactly four angles? Yes. So put it here and just draw them as best as you can. Oh, that's not, maybe that's a little bit better. Does it have four angles and at least one pair of parallel sides? Yes, look, those are parallel and those are parallel. So it actually has two. All right, so we're done with that. All right, this one. Oh no, that's a triangle. So it does not fall in either category. Cross that out. What about this one? It is a quadrilateral. It has four sides. Does it have exactly four angles? Yes. 
Okay, I am not drawing these the best that I can. Make sure you draw them better than I do. Does it have at least four angles, exactly four angles? Yes. And one pair of parallel sides? Oh, no, because look, that's not parallel and that's not parallel. So it just only goes in this um, column. The next one. Is that a polygon with exactly four angles? Yes. So let's draw it here. Oh, and what was the name of that? That was a kite. And does this have four angles and one pair of parallel sides? Yes. And we can draw that in here, too. And what is this special name for that? Parallelogram. All right, let's look at this one. Uh, is this a polygon with exactly four angles? Yes. So let's draw it. I'm going to draw it out here. Eh, what in the world? Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, not doing a great job at drawing today. All right. Now, does this have exactly four angles? Yes. And one pair of parallel sides? No, because, look, these are going to do that. They're going to meet. So that's not parallel. And these are not parallel because they're going to meet this way. So it just goes in that one. Oh, that one was kind of tricky. But we worked it out, and we got it done. So make sure you have the chart. You worked it out. Don't forget to write your learning target. You can write your vocabulary words and your clues for learning to help you. And remember, study every day. That's how you get smarter and smarter. See you.